What's up everyone? Today I am inside making another homemade wind fishing lure. My first one is, well it's right here. It's this cool, supposed to be swim bait. I had a lot of fun making it, it looks really good. It's just, uh, just not the most functional fishing lure so I don't know if I'll catch any fish on it. But my goal today is to make a top water, walk the dog, spook type lure that will catch a fish. Um, if you'd like to see me make that fishing lure, the video will be linked up there and in the description. But today I'm using the same materials that I was to make that lure, my sandpaper, my same hand carving, like whatever you want to call them, the hand carving tools. So it's uh, tools you guys can use to replicate this. So uh, here's my side, here's my top, here's my wood, and here's my tools. There's the setup. Let's get to it. All right, so now I have my pieces cut out. I'm just gonna take some good old fashioned Elmer's glue stick and just put some glue on them like so. And then just, you know, find a good spot and smack it on that piece of wood. Now I'm gonna do the same to the top. And this is kind of the tricky part, so I'll get to when it's done. Actually, okay, I retract my statement. I'm going to leave this piece off for now until I get this kind of shape around it. It's uh, time to start carving. <laughs> chips but it's down and now I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and glue this piece onto here so I know how far to take the sides down on this uh, on this bait so I'm gonna do that now and I'm going to continue to carve it out <laughs> guys I'm outside now I have my drill um, my dad's asleep but I have to drill holes so I'm outside and it's raining so it's less than ideal but I'm going to right now I'm going to just drill some holes in where they will be in the future just so I you know don't carve over my drawing because I've kind of torn it up so I'm gonna just drill some holes Now that that's done, I can go finish carving. Um, I will probably be re-drilling these holes, but now at least I know where they should be. So now I have rather uh, sufficiently carved this out. I've torn up all the things and it's still a little rough. There's a lot of hard edges, but I have two kinds of sandpaper. <clears throat> I have this one, which is 60 coarse, which I'm going to use first. And is really gonna help, you know, get rid of those tough edges. And then after I use that, I have this 100 coarse sandpaper. Oh jeez. I have 100 coarse in here. I have also, um, what is it, 150 coarse too, that I'm going to use to help, you know, make this more of a circular thing, not so uh, boxy. <laughs> the very I don't know it's pretty good shape it's a little boxy still but that might be as good as I get it it's pretty spherical but 
now I'm gonna have to go redrill these holes and make the eyelets and mess around with some sinkers in there and hopefully hopefully I can get it right and it uh has good weight and good action and I, I'm gonna try to put a little rattle in there too so that'll also be experimental but I'm done with uh, the main forming of this and going on to the next step. All right, well, I'm back in my uh, less than ideal spot outside, but more drilling is necessary. I'm gonna just use this, I don't know, this little drill bit to uh, drill out where I'm going to um, put the wires that will hold the fishing hooks and tie onto my line slash wire leader. Pro tip when you're uh, drilling this way through it, um, make sure it doesn't go through. <laughs> but, uh, I guess that's that, and that's done. So now I'm gonna change bits into the one I'm going to use for this like egg sinker I've got. So I'm gonna drill the holes for that. <clears throat> well, I've been sitting out here for so long, but my GoPro's dead. Um, my phone is not, but I finally got the weight in there. It's a little off center. It's maybe just crooked. It should work. And you can kind of see this little silvery thing right there. What I did was I took a piece of a, like a soda can, and I took a little pellet of a, like, pellet gun, and I drilled a hole, put the pellet in there, put the little soda can thing over it, so when it, it rattles, it kind of has a little metal clank to it. I'm not sure if it'll actually work, but that's the idea behind it. So now I have to go back, get some epoxy made, and, you know, seal this up, and... Oh, I also have to make the uh, wires for the eyelets. I can't forget that. So I'm gonna do that right now. So how I am making, okay. So how I'm making these is I have my wire and I put it just in the drill like that. And then what I'm also doing is taking in a little, just kind of a, oh, it focuses, a nail. Hold it in, in my pliers, real tight like, putting the loop over the nail and just twisting or drilling. Ah. Okay, this might not work with this. All right, I just ended up using the plier head, but now we have made a loop. And that is what we're looking for, a loop. <laughs> All right, whew. so I finally got the holes drilled and everything. I also, you saw me make one of these. I have, uh, oh gosh, I have not lost it, but I drilled one for here, one for here, and one for here, and I measured them, I cut them, and now they all, all push in and fit to size. So now I just have to take my five minute epoxy, shout out to Gorilla Glue, and uh, mix it on the plate and put it in the holes with this so it sticks nice and sturdy. All right, guys. You're going to be looking at my hands for this one. But I'm going to lay these out just so I know um, which ones go where. First step is to take, I've already used this, so I'm going to pull the cap off. And you want to score an even amount of both as I'm failing to do that. That should be plenty. Gonna use one of these to hopefully cut it off before it all just comes out on me. All right, caps on. Another thing about five minute epoxy is that you have to mix it and then that kind of uh, activates it. So we're going to thoroughly mix this up. And I can feel it kind of getting like sticky. <laughs> then I'm going to take this one, which I know goes into this slot. 
and I'm just gonna make sure this hole gets nice and full of this epoxy since this is the uh, main thing that's gonna be holding this in. Then we're just gonna All right. I'm gonna let that sit. So it is like 9.45 at night and I work at 7 a.m. So I'm about to go to sleep, but I have one more little magic trick to uh, show you on this fishing lure before I go to sleep and finish it another night. So uh, here's the magic trick. You need some baking soda and some super glue. And pretty much if you've never done this before, it just kind of makes a, uh, I don't know, like a rock hard thing. So we're gonna fill the cavity that we made here with this weight. Fill it with this, fill it with the baking soda. All right, so now once we fill this cavity with baking soda, then we're gonna put the super glue on top of it and it's gonna become just super hard and super like sealed. And then we can sand it down afterwards. In my professional opinion, I would say that is um, perfectly covered with this here baking soda. Now we have to uh, open up the super glue. And then you just kind of super glue the bejesus out of this baking soda. Okay, maybe not that much. <laughs> it smokes a little bit, super cool. All right, now put the cap back on my super glue so there's a 30% chance I can use it again. Close this up and I'm gonna let this sit for the night. I'll see you guys when I start painting. Has had plenty of time to dry. Now I'm going to go in and do a lot more heavy sanding, especially on this bottom where I did a little science experiment. And uh, probably do a little bit of carving like in some eyes and some gills and get right to that because that is the next step. So what I just did was, um, I used my 60 grit sandpaper and did a lot more of the hard sanding on the spots where I used the super glue and the epoxy. And then I took my little knife and my little carver and I carved in some details here. And then finally I took my, whatever it is, 120 or 100, I lied, 150 sandpaper and really finish up the edges so it's nice and smooth and now this thing is ready to be painted just uh i'm gonna wipe off all the sawdust blow off all the sawdust and i can get going on painting it
so the final step in finishing my walk the dog fishing lure is just to take this lure and take my polyurethane and take this brush and just give it a nice good painting and coating of polyurethane to seal it and make sure it's all nice and good and ready to use. Well now I've just got to sit there and let it dry. After it's done drying I'm going to give it a nice quick sanding with like 150 grit sandpaper. Slap some hooks on, hooks on there and uh, cross my fingers that it works out good. All right, well here we are with my finished product. I got nice red hooks on there. It's all painted, it's all polyed. It's done, finally it's ready to get in the water and get tested. I hope that it walks just like I want it to. It's, it feels a little heavy, but I think it'll still work. Um, so yeah, I'll throw this in the lake and hopefully she has good uh, good walking action. Whew. You know what, for being a uh, homemade lure, that works freaking amazing for me. Oh jeez, hold on. Let me, uh, let me show you something else. This is why you wear Crocs in Langdon Lake. Sorry, yes, I find glass all over the place. But nonetheless, um, this fishing lure, so much better. So much better than I thought it would work. Um, I'm glad it's not too heavy. It sinks a little bit, but you know, it's perfect. So uh, thank you all for watching me make this lure and hopefully you can watch me catch a fish in a, a future video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the fish to be caught on this Walk the Dog.